So with my offline configuration saved, now I'm going to download to my processor. So I'm just going to go communication, uh, download, and I've already got a path selected to my processor, but you need to be able to get there. Uh, you need to know what processor you're heading towards, so I'm going to my 5380 guard logics uh, IP address.11. So I'm going to download, and we're just going to pause. You see that my program is now in remote run. My download is complete, so now I'm going to go back to run mode. I'm going to change to run mode, and my processor is running. But you will see that I do have in my I/O tree down here. I am, the safe zone 3 is not quite happy. It says I/O faulted, so I can double click on my uh, on the AOP for the 4442L and look at that I. I'm in an invalid mode or state for the service request. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the uh, the field set configurator, double click on that, and because the, the safe zone three is out of box, it it's got an IP address because we gave that in the last step. We really need to see what's going on with it, right? The scanner has no configuration; it has no real idea. So what it's going to come up with is a configuration mismatch. It says, hey, what's in the scanner doesn't match what's in your program. So for right now, for the first time through, I'm going to say continue with the current configuration so that we can get online with the device. Because now you can see I'm online. We actually have the scanner looking around, it's looking right at me because it's sitting right next, next to me. But it's out there looking around. And we're going to have to do a couple things in order to get this scanner into service one of which is to set up a password. So I'm going to go to service. I'm going to say user password. And we need to give it a new password. In order to do that, I'm going to click on the pencil and type in a password. For the, my demonstration, I'm just going to do, do lowercase Rockwell, R-O-C-K-W-E-L-L. -L. I'm going to confirm that, R-O-C-K-W-E-L-L. -L. I'm going to say set that to the device. And it's going to say, you know what? Um, that's something new, but it's I need some permission to do that. So from the administrator, uh, the default password can be found in the user manual as capital A B G M. And I'm going to log in, and it's going to say OK. And it says password successfully changed. If everything goes through here correctly, yes, it's successfully changed, and I click OK. So now I have a password in here, Rockwell. It's the new password. From there, I'm going to go to configuration, which is go back to configuration menu down at the bottom of here. Say, I want to transfer to the device what we've already programmed. I'm going to click transfer to the device. It's going to say, Who's your password? And we're going to type in that R O C K W E L L to allow that transaction to take place. And now what we're doing is we're transferring the file from and the configuration from our uh, AOP actually down into the controller. One way that you know that things are taking place well is you'll see the verification report come and take place. So this is kind of the report that you can save or that you can print um, that has, tells you everything that's in there. And one thing that I always check is the fields that I've set up. So I scroll down, hey, that looks a lot like my left and right field, my left and right warning fields, and also those those cases that I set up. If those are there, it's very likely my configuration, so then I can click OK. So after I click OK, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to apply this configuration. I'm going to say apply the configuration. I just want to make sure everything's all set up well and good here. And now we're running. Because we were out of the box this first time through, we didn't have to reset ownership or anything like that. That's going to be a separate issue. But because we had a fresh scanner, what we just did, now we have a running safe zone scanner.